Hey, what's going on YouTube? My name is Kyle. I'm a computer science student going into my fourth year in university. I also work as a full stack engineer. Uh, as this year, this summer, has gotten close to the school year, I've seen a bunch of what's in my bag, going back to school, what you need going back after Zoom University type videos for computer science majors popping up on YouTube. And I was like, oh, I could, uh, I think I have some things people have missed out on that would help a lot of people. So I figured I'd show you guys my bag and my setup. Uh, I've never made a video like this before. So if you guys are uh, interested in more, just let me know uh, in the comments. So yeah, uh, this is my bag. I don't know the name brand. Uh, when I started at school four years ago, I literally went on Amazon and typed in backpack. And this was the first thing that came up. I think it still is. Uh, it's got four pockets. It's got like a laptop bag pocket. Um, a main pocket, a smaller pocket, and like a couple other small ones. Uh, so what I use for my laptop, uh, I used to use a, a Windows laptop that I, I still have and it's fine, but it's like five pounds and it's like nearly 17 inches. So I upgraded on the recommendation of a friend to a MacBook Air. I think this is a 2015 version. Uh, it's refurbished. I got it on Amazon for like 300 bucks or something like that. Um, seems good so far. I've never been an Apple user. Uh, I've always been like on Windows or Ubuntu and like Android. So I've been using for that. Uh, for notebooks, I'm pretty picky when it comes to like stationery and notebooks and stuff. I also keep these in the laptop compartment because they're pretty small. I've just got like a general purpose notebook um, with just lined paper for taking notes. Typically I'll tear out and I got like some stuff in there and use those for notes. Uh, I used to use that as like an agenda calendar planner type notebook, but I switched to Google Calendar and I plan out my days through that. Uh, this is a moleskin notebook with a Muji pen and pen holder. Um, I'm taking four courses this semester. I'm taking design and analysis of algorithms, programming languages, software engineering, and probability and statistics for computer science majors. Um, for math courses, I, I like working on graph paper and I really like moleskin notebooks. So this is the one I went with. Uh, I got it at Barnes and Noble. Uh, it's pretty nice. It's also got like a bookmarker in there and a little thing to keep it closed. Um, and that way I don't have to go digging for a pen. I've got this uh, little pen holder guy that's fun to play with on there. So that's what I've got in the main compartment. Secondary pocket. Um, this is the bigger pocket. Right now I've got my one textbook. The course was released early. So I got the prop step book. I also in here keep like whatever other notebooks I would need. Like I have paper in this smaller side pocket here, which is just uh, Muji brand graph paper. Um, you could put this in like a little binder or whatever, but I just keep the paper loose. Um, in here I also keep my calculator. I use a TI-84. I think this is pretty standard for like engineering majors and stuff. Engineering, computer science, math. Uh, I've got a battery bank. This is uh, a Doula brand. I got this a couple years ago. I don't use it too often. Uh, the phone I use is a Samsung Galaxy S9. It's what's recording this video. Um, so it's usually pretty good on power, but I do have this just in case. Um, as for writing utensils, I've got uh, this little uh, pencil case here that unzips. And then I've got like a bunch of different colored pens. And then I have a little uh, hardback pencil case that I think I saw in a John Fish video and I was like, oh, that looks pretty cool. So I picked that up on Amazon and I've got like a bunch of different, not really different, but a bunch of Muji pens in there. That's what I like to write with. Also like a pencil and some like refillable lead and stuff. So this bag has like two uh, like pockets in the main, I guess you could call this the main and a laptop pocket, the laptop pocket. So I keep those in here. I'll keep the calculator, the different uh, pencil cases, in this compartment so that's like mainly school stuff you know i like to have my bag so that no matter like what happens i can just pick it up and know i'm good for like a day or two so i don't have any food in here right now but i'll typically keep like some protein bars um in this third pocket uh i keep a hat in case my hair gets messed up or it's windy i can just throw a hat on uh i've got a, a spare change of clothes in here uh like socks underwear and a shirt for spills stains or wet uh, if my socks get wet, if it's raining, uh, as well as other stuff like just deodorant, uh, cologne. Um, I've also got hand sanitizer. 
And then in here, I also keep a couple other things like a, a spare razor, uh, nail clippers, hand sanitizer, screwdriver, just kind of random things, kind of like toiletry items that I might need at school if something were to come up. Uh, I also in here keep like fun stuff. I keep Bubbles and Uno. Um, I'm a fan of the YouTube channel called Val's Fire Family. And then his uh, what's in my like bag video. He was like, always have Uno. This is a must have. Uno, always have Uno. And uh, uh, Bubbles, I have a lot of Bubbles. Bubbles are important to have. That's what- Bubbles, so I was like, okay. And then I make sure I keep Uno's and Bubble. Uno and Bubbles in my bag. Uh, compartments. In this front compartment here, I have a wireless mouse. I'm not a huge fan of trackpads. Uh, this is a like Logitech wireless mouse. I don't really know the brand. It's like eight years old or something and it's still going. So that's what I use for that. Uh, I've got my phone charger. Uh, it's a Galaxy S9, so it's USB-C. I keep that in there for charging up. Uh, also in here, I keep a LAN cord. If there's ever the, if I ever had the opportunity to plug in LAN, I mean, I don't think the, the MacBook Air has the LAN cable, but if like a friend needs it, or if I were to use my Windows laptop while I'm out, uh, LAN cable is really nice to have on you. Um, also something that I think a lot of people forget on is I think you should just carry spare batteries on you, which is kind of random. I also have like this little playing card deck in here too, but like having spare batteries for if your calculator were to die or anything else that you might need for uh, a lab class, because they're not always provided for you. So just kind of throwing some spare double and triple A batteries in your bag never hurts. So that's what I do. And that's actually saved me a couple times. I never had a, my calculator go out before an exam, but it has died on me while in class. And that's helped. Um, there's a side pocket here that opens up. This is where I'll typically keep my uh, laptop charger and any food that I'm bringing for the day. Um, and then the last pocket is on the butt, like the back pocket right here. And this is where I'll keep like first aid stuff. I don't really have that much in here now, but I'll keep, I have masks, I have mints, I have a thermometer, thermometer. I'll keep band-aids, uh, allergy medication, Tylenol, anything like that in this pocket. So yeah, that's what I use for my bag. Um, I haven't been on an in-person class since spring 2019, probably like a lot of you as well. But I figured I'd put this out there and give you guys some ideas for other things you might want to keep on you while you're um, going back to school for the first time in over a year. So thanks for watching. If you want more videos from me, uh, let me know in the comments. And yeah, be well.